African solutions to African problems. Hi everyone, it's KB Taiwo for New Africa Network and in this video, we're going to be taking a quick look at five exciting African entrepreneurs that are finding innovative ways to solve the issues affecting their local communities. Number 5. Intambiseng Mosia, Sierra Leone Born and bred in the outskirts of the Alexandria Township in South Africa, Regular power outages meant that the young Intabiseng was often forced to make do with a flickering candlelight while studying for her final high school exams. Fully aware that her experience was one faced by millions of students across the continent, she channeled her frustration into solving this problem. While still a student at Columbia University in the United States, she began work along with co-founders Eric Silverman and Alexander Touré on a low-cost solar energy service which would later go on to be called Easy Solar. Starting their operations in Sierra Leone, where almost 90% of the population had limited to no access to electricity, Easy Solar introduced a pay-as-you-go solar energy service specially designed for low-income customers. Today, Easy Solar supply, install and service a range of solar systems, from solar panels to solar inverters and solar energy storage batteries. Easy Solar has also expanded its operations to Liberia and has plans to expand into neighboring Guinea very soon. At number 4 is Jacob Rugano, Kenya. Rugano's story is one of turning pain into power. Following the tragic death of several members of his family in an accident involving a drunk lorry driver, Rugano started a tech company dedicated to reducing accidents on African roads. His company, Africa Track, install vehicle tracking devices that record and feed back key information on how vehicles are being driven. Thanks to his innovative software, companies can now monitor their employees' driving behaviors, which enables these companies to put measures in place to reduce reckless driving and road accidents caused by their employees. And that's not all. Africa Track's technology also helps to combat crime as it enables vehicle owners to locate and remotely disable their vehicle in the event that they are stolen. Now with offices in Kenya, South Africa and Nigeria, Africa Track's vision is to expand their reach to every corner of the continent. So please watch this space. Number 3. Diana Wangari, Kenya. Burdened by the seemingly endless list of problems in a country's healthcare system, this young medical student put aside her dream of becoming a neurosurgeon and has chosen instead to trailblaze change and reform in the Kenyan healthcare system. In 2016, she co-founded Sagittarix, a digital platform that facilitates the direct distribution of drugs to patients with chronic diseases. Using the company's IC Cure app, patients are able to place orders for drugs which are delivered on the very same day. The company also runs its Checkups Medical Centers which provide efficient and accurate low-cost diagnostics that save patients time and money through the effective use of modern technology. The company claims to have distributed medical supplies worth over $200,000 in the last year and currently operates a total of five clinics across rural and urban Kenya. Number 2. Chinedu Azodo, Nigeria With the city of Lagos being home to 40% of all cars registered in Nigeria, the movement of people and goods around the city can be a serious ordeal. But where others saw problems, Chinedu Azodo saw opportunity. He started Metro Africa Express, a motor bike hailing service that allows passengers or packages to move around Lagos conveniently at the tap of a button and Uber for motorbikes if you like. Azudu and co-founder Adetayo Bamiro first came up with the idea while working on a school project at MIT. They both moved to Lagos in 2014, starting the business with just five members of staff and three motorbike riders. Now one of the 100 fastest growing SMEs in Nigeria and part of the World Bank's digital acceleration program, the company now employs over 70 people and has over 1,000 bike riders on its books. And finally, occupying the number one spot on our list is Bilikis Adebi Abiola, 
Nigeria. One issue that most African cities have in common is the lack of effective waste disposal. Walk around almost any major city in sub-Saharan Africa and you'll be sure to find piles of rubbish scattered along the streets, gutters and local markets. More than just making our streets unpleasant to look at, this is also a matter of public health. Facing the problem head-on, Bilikis Adebi Yabiola co-founded WeCyclers, a social enterprise based in Lagos, Nigeria, that works to clean up low-income communities by offering incentives in exchange for their waste. The business model is very simple. Local residents simply have to bag their recyclable waste ahead of the weekly pickup by the WeCyclers' specially constructed cargo bikes. Participating households are given points for every kilogram recycled, which can then be redeemed for electronics, household items, training classes, and even cash. Once collected, the waste is then sorted, processed, and recycled into products such as organic compost from food waste, raw material pellets from plastic waste, and tissue paper from paper waste. Since it was launched in 2012, WeCyclers has created over 200 jobs collected 5,000 tons of recyclable waste, paid out over $100,000 in incentives, and rolled out their service to over 17,000 subscribers, with an additional 200 new subscribers joining every month. The company was also recently awarded 200,000 euros in prize money after winning the King Badouin Foundation African Development Prize for 2019, beating over 240 other applicants to the award. With their base in a city that generates over 15,000 tons of waste per day, you can be sure that WeCyclers will continue to grow from strength to strength over the next few years. Know of any other dynamic young African entrepreneurs that you would want the world to know about? Share your thoughts in the comment section. As ever, please like, share and subscribe. And until next time.